Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. What if I told you that you don't need a Snapdragon phone to play Nintendo Switch games anymore? Well, with the new Benji SC emulator, that's now possible. This emulator actually started out as Kenji NX, but the developers had to rename it for some internal issues, and now it's known as Benji SC. The best part is that it's built as a fork of Ryu Jinx, which is one of the most popular Switch emulators on PC. What makes Benji SC stand out is its compatibility and stability, especially for devices running on Mali GPUs and MediaTek chipsets, not just Snap Snapdragon processors. So if you've been struggling to get a Switch emulator running smoothly on your device, this one might be your answer. And yes, it also comes with controller support, which gives you that true console-like feel. Before you can start, you'll need a few files ready. First, the Benji SC Switch emulator. Then you'll need your prods.keys file, the firmware file, the custom GPU driver if you're on Snapdragon. And of course, don't forget your own legally owned Nintendo Switch games in either NSP or XCI format, since the emulator won't work without them. Once you have everything, open the app and grant file access when prompted. On the home screen, it will look empty at first, but that's normal. Go into settings where you'll find different sections. In the user interface section, you'll see a toggle for grid view, which you can switch on or off depending on how you like your library to look. After that, click on install keys. Select your prods.keys file from your storage and confirm when it asks if you want to continue. Do the same with install firmware, selecting your firmware file and confirming. Finally, use add game folder to point the emulator to the location where you've stored your Switch games. Both both NSP and XCI formats are supported, so either will work fine. Moving on, in the input section, you only need to disable docked mode. In the system section, set your DRAM usage between 4 and 6 gigabytes if your phone allows it, and make sure to turn on performance mode. For the CPU section, enable NCE, which stands for Native Code Execution, and is key for smoother gameplay. In the graphics section, enable texture recompression, switch on stretch to full screen, and set your resolution scale. A good balance is 0.7x on most devices, but if you're running on on a low-end device, you may want to drop it to 0.5x for better stability. If you're on Snapdragon, you can also load a custom GPU driver here, which is optional but can give you a real boost. Once all this is done, head back to the home screen, tap refresh if your games don't show up and they should appear ready to play. Now let's talk performance. On my Snapdragon device, I tested Cuphead, which is a super popular game in Western countries, and it ran at a rock-solid 60 FPS with full stability. The gameplay was smooth, responsive, and honestly felt like playing on a an actual console. For MediaTek and Mali users, the results are surprisingly good too. A YouTuber named AndroBeast tested Red Dead Redemption 1 on a Dimensity 1200 with a Mali G77 GPU and 8GB of RAM. With a low graphics mod and some mission skips, he was able to get a stable 25 to 30 FPS. For a demanding game like RDR1 on a non-Snapdragon chip, that's pretty impressive. And remember, that was on an older Kenji NX build, so with Benji SC, we can expect things to improve even more. So overall, Benji SC is shaping up to be one of the best Switch emulators available for MediaTek and Mali devices. It's not perfect, and to be fair, it's still not as polished or high-performing as Eden Switch emulator, but the fact that we're seeing games running this smoothly on chipsets that were previously left behind is a huge step forward. Hopefully with more updates, we'll see even better performance and more compatibility in the future. That's all for today's video. If you found this guide useful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more emulator updates, and let me know in the comments what game you'd like to see me test next with Ben GSC. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.